Hi there folks and welcome back to Northwest Bushcraft. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've been on YouTube but there's been lots going on uh, with Northwest Bushcraft and I'm doing a supplementary video alongside this one to let you know what's been going on and what sort of future plans are but the purpose for this video is to discuss this new jacket. Now this is the brand new jacket from Ridgeline of New Zealand and this is called the Ridgeline Grizzly Anorak and it's not yet hit the shops, it is due to hit the shops in I think it's October, so middle, middle to end of October and just a, a, a word to the wise before we go into the review this one is the prototype version, this is um, a fully black one whereas when it actually goes into the shops I've been informed by Ridgeline that it would actually be like a dark olive green colour so, so don't be sort of dissuaded by the colour when it does go in the shops it will be a nice dark green colour so anyway, so that's the, the anorak, what we'll do is We'll, I'll put it on so you can see what it's like and then we'll look at some of the finer details in a second. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, so here's the, the, the smock on now. It says the Ridgeline Grizzly Anorak smock. Um, for those of you that have seen my other videos, you know I, I like these kind of over the head smocks. I think they're, I personally prefer them to the, sort of the, the full length zip smocks. I think they're much better. Just quickly running over it, the, the material that it's made out of is called Southern Star 340 Pro TM or PRO TM. Uh, it's not completely rainproof, it is showerproof and, and weatherproof. In that sense, if it was a light shower, this would just repel the water no problem at all. If it was very windy, this would be absolutely superb. It, it's, it's completely windproof. It's a very mild day today and I've only had this on five minutes and I'm really warm already. So yeah, absolutely superb piece of kit, I must admit. There were a few issues, but I'll, I'll come on to that in a second and actually say so true to ridge lines putting the customer first ethos. This is the prototype. They've had we've had a look at it, fed back my concerns and actually the guys from Ridgeline have taken that on board and we've had a, a discussion about what changes are going to be made. But so for a prototype, absolutely superb. The fleecy type material is very, very soft, very, very warm. It's it's almost silent as well. So if you are doing a lot of shooting or you're stalking or you're into wildlife photography you know, I mean, kind of rubbing this together and there's very, very little noise. If you've got a standard kind of waterproof or even like a Gore-Tex anorak on, every time you move your arms, you walk, it, you're rustling constantly, that's no good. The elbows, I'll come in a bit closer for this one. The elbows have like a, a reinforced patch on here. And again, that'll be, again, for water resistance. So if you are kneeling down, you're shooting, you know, if you kind of lent back onto something, that's going to protect your elbows. Again, same thing on, on, on the shoulders. Now, one of the, when I first got the jacket, one of my sort of first concerns with it was they've got this just a patch on both elbows here, both elbows, both shoulders, sorry, a weatherproof patch. And I thought, well, what's the point in that? The rain, when it comes down, doesn't only just hit your shoulders, it's going to go right across your back. But actually, on further investigation, having spoken to Ridgeline, the reason behind this is that, and I don't know if you can actually pick it up on camera, but just down here is the seam. And that seam is where the front panel of the jacket comes up, meets the back panel, and is then sort of sewn together. And obviously where you've got that stitch, you've got potential for ingress of water. So if, if you do get stuck in a shower, you don't want water coming in where that seam is, because obviously wherever there's a stitch seam, you've got an inherent weakness. And that's why they put this on. It's basically to cover that, that seam and to stop any water coming in. So, you know, Initially, I didn't think much of it. However, now looking at it and seeing the reason behind it, I'm actually really impressed. The cuffs, again, uh, Velcro cuffs, absolutely superb. Open up, it's nice and wide. So if you are gonna wear a bigger, thicker jumper, if you're gonna have uh, a big pair of camp gloves on, winter gloves, that kind of thing, then you know they can accommodate that. But if not, they will actually tighten up quite well. And the Velcro is quite generous. It goes almost uh, probably a good half where right around the wrist so you can pull it really tight if you wanted to and have it you know completely flattened to the wrist so you are you know they're completely sealed in there so you're not going to get any cold sort of coming up the on the chest you have uh, a small pocket a small chest pocket here and it's probably let me think that's the bottom that's the top there so you've got I don't know come on guys that's probably what 12 inches no. that's probably something like maybe sort of five six inches to a depth in pocket and again probably maybe four inches wide maybe a bit more zipper goes inside and obviously that this pocket could be used for 
mobile phone, it could be used for binoculars, radios, uh, if you're into shooting, you can put a laser rangefinder in there, it's quite handy. Initially, I wasn't overly keen on this, and again, I, I fed that back to Ridgeline, purely because this zip, it's, it, it seems quite, quite small, and certainly if you've got a big pair of gloves on and you're trying to get the zip open, it's only got a very, very, very small sort of tab to grab, uh, grab hold of. And if you're anything like me, a bit of a mutton hand, you know, you could you could have a problem with it and probably miss it completely. But Ridgeline have informed me they've actually put a pull toggle on this now, so it's overcome that problem. Again, looking at Ridgeline's sort of passion to do right by their customers, um, you know, they, they've put a toggle on it, so if your hands are cold, it's, it's just something better to, you know, to get hold of so you can open the pocket up. The hood, if I just squat down the hood, is, is, is a full size hood. Comes right the way over, so you can do your, your best Obi Wan Kenobi impression. And it has two pull cords. Oh, where's it gone to? There we are. Two pull cords, so you can cinch that right down onto your face, and it does close right the way in. Also, on the inside here, I don't know if we can see it, but here, there's this extra baffle here, and this is where the pull cord goes through. Now, this baffle, when it's tightened, that goes right around the hood and actually comes right around your face. So actually kind of keeps all that warmth inside. The hood itself is double lined, so it's actually got a fleece outer and a fleece inner to keep your head really warm. And I said it is very, very warm, very warm indeed. This is certainly going to be you know, part of my, my winter camp gear without a shadow of a doubt. What else have we got? Okay, in the main body here, there is a, a through and through cargo pocket here, so it does go you know, right the way through. And I like these, you know, I like, and so those of you that know me like, you know, know I like these sort of through and through pockets. It's great, you can put a rucksack on, put your waist strap on, put your hands in here, and just, you know, go off walking, you'll you stay nice and warm. Your arms are by your sides, you, you, you've got your core kept warm constantly. Beauty of these is zips up both sides, and it's got this, again, like another baffle that goes over the zip, so it's covered. Now, it's easy just to say, okay, zips zip up and that's that, that's all a zip does. But actually, if you think about it logically, if you're using this to store gear, if you've got your first aid kit in there, a knife, whatever it may be in there, your fire, uh, fire lighting kit, whatever, if the zips went down the way, I know it, it sounds like a tiny detail, but you know, the devil's in the detail. If the zips went down the way, and you put your gear in your pockets, and you kind of quickly zipped and went off, the bottom part will be open if you haven't zipped it all the way down, which means that you've got potential to lose any of your gear. You know, if you're scrambling through the undergrowth, through the trees, hopping over fences, things could fall out. Ridgeline have come with the zip coming up the way. That way, if you've got your stuff in your pocket, gravity's going to keep it down. If you don't, if you quickly zip up and off you go, but it's still kind of half open and you can still get, if there's still a gap there, what's in that pocket isn't going to fall out because obviously the zip has come up halfway. So again, it's not gonna fall out the sides. And I think that's a, a, a clever little touch. Oh, what else? And then the bottom part, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll pan down there so you can actually see what it's like full length. And there's extra pockets in the base as well. Right, so there's, that's what it's like full length. Halfway down the thigh, keeps you nice and warm. And you've also got pockets in the skirt part down here as well. So if you are sat down, hands can go in the pockets here rather than being up here. Put your hands down here and again, keeping your, your, your arms close to your body to keep you nice and warm. Although I think warmth in this jacket isn't going to be a problem at all. In the centre of the, uh, the, the jacket, there is this pull cord here. So pull that in. And there you go. Created this nice warm pocket of air here, keep your core nice and warm. And you can still put your hands into your pockets up here and keep yourself nice and warm. All in all, I think it's an absolutely superb jacket. Like I said, this one's in black. Let me let me tilt the camera back up. Yeah, so, so this one's in black, uh, but it's only a prototype at the moment. It's due for release, um, reliably informed in October, sort of middle to end of October. 
So it'll be just right for the Christmas market and just right for the winter market as well, which is really where this 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 smock is really going to come into its own. Absolutely superb. The price point on it is eighty nine ninety nine. So again, it keeps it under that magic kind of hundred pound mark as well. So you know, it's not an expensive Christmas present. Let's be fair about it. But yeah, absolutely superb piece of gear. It's definitely going to form part of my winter gear. Very very warm indeed. Be another tour around. Yeah, can't say enough good things about it. It's absolutely superb. So, anyway, uh, thanks very much indeed for watching. Uh, oh, did I say when it when it gets released, this jacket actually isn't going to be black. This so this is the prototype, and when it gets released, it's actually going to be like a, a dark olive green colour. Okay, so like I said because black doesn't tend to you, you don't tend to find a lot of black bulky shapes in nature. So for the woodsman, a dark green much much better. So. Again, okay, so that's the Grizzly Ridgeline Anorak. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the review. If there's anything that I've missed, you know, give me a shout and I'll see if I can remember it. Okay, take care for now and see you on the next one. Bye bye.